Hi, we're Kelly and Kevin. We're currently exploring Wyoming on a 12-day road trip in a rented Traveler's Auto Barn camper van. We're visiting Grand Teton and Yellowstone National Parks, all while enjoying our first van life experience. Good morning, happy travelers. Man, it's cold outside. So Kevin and I woke up way before the sun at freaking dark 30 this morning to drive to the Lamar Valley in Yellowstone. That is where wolves are very active. There's also chances of seeing grizzly bears, but we pulled over to the side of the road because there's a huge wildlife jam here. So we hoped it was wolves, but it was not. It was actually an elk kill that was being scavenged on by a couple of coyotes, which in itself is still kind of gross, but pretty cool to see. Um, so we stayed there for a little while, and then someone told us the wolf spotters said that in Lamar Valley, where we're headed, there are a bunch of wolves. So we are jamming over there to see if we can uh, catch some of those puppies in action. technically reached the Lamar Valley and if you want to see buffalo you are guaranteed to see them here we have reached an actual wildlife jam because there are buffalo in the road or bison you know what I mean there's just one but it's black and I can see it freaking out, guys. We spotted one black wolf and he was just cruising along the river and oh my god, I think Kevin got about a thousand photos. Wow, we saw a wolf guys. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to see a wolf in Yellowstone. Now we're, we're trying to find the rest of its pack because this one was cruising down the river and we could hear another wolf howling, which was insane to hear. It's very eerie but I am so excited right now. I could cry, which I might. We climbed up on this ridge where there were a bunch of other people and across the valley, they were very tiny, but we could see them in our zoom lens and binoculars. There was a pack of wolves, between 20 and 30 wolves. It was really hard to count them because they were so far away, but we watched them for a really long time up there. They were like laying down and then they'd get up and like play with each other. It was so cool. 20 to 30 wolves just in the wilderness. Like bucket list, check, love it. I'm so happy. We got some pretty decent video and photos, so I'm excited to share those with you. We have pulled over to make some breakfast, um, but before we take the bed apart and turn it into a dining table so we can eat, we're gonna take a couple pictures because we are at this super beautiful vista right now and I wanna get one of those classic out the back, like I just woke up van shots. We're getting very close to Cook City, Montana, although we are still in Wyoming right now. So we are at the far end of the Lamar Valley, so we're gonna head back in the direction that we came today and head back towards Mammoth Hot Springs, maybe stopping there. Tonight we're gonna end up at a West Yellowstone KOA. So we're kind of just making our way back in that direction and stopping at all the cool things we can see. Oh, hello. hello. Can I have a ride? You are kind of pretty.
All right, we finally made it to Mammoth Hot Springs. Uh, we drove past here last night, but we did not stop. But today we are going to go check it out. Mammoth Hot Springs is a travertine springs in the northern part of Yellowstone. There's a whole village up here. There's like a grill and a lodge and a gas station, convenience store, all kinds of stuff. So you can really base your trip out of Mammoth if you want to. There's also lots of wildlife up here. And it changes all the time. So one area that has the hot springs may not be the same as it will in the next year. And it's one of the most popular places to visit in Yellowstone and 10 out of 10 recommend coming up here. We have just checked out the Devil's Thumb area right at the bottom, the very iconic part of, the very iconic part of Mammoth Hot Springs, um, but the boardwalk goes up to the top. So that's where we're gonna head now. It's pretty, but it stinks. I don't know if you've ever smelled like volcanic gases, but it smells like rotten eggs, boiled rotten eggs. <laughs> Not a good smell, but good thing I have this mask to help. There are a bunch of levels to Mammoth Hot Springs and each one is different. And they're all worth visiting, of course. Um, they're all very beautiful. It's quite a workout though. Lots of stairs, lots of inclines. So be prepared to get your cardio in for the day. I think I'm about to head back down to the parking lot now. And we're gonna continue further south. Do you think that you have seen enough elk and hot springs for the moment? I think so. Now we are gonna head south and eventually make our way to our campsite for tonight. We might stop at a few things along the way, but it's getting kind of late and we woke up at like 5.30 this morning, so I'm thinking it's gonna be an early night for us. Yeah. Another night with a heater, I'm excited. Yeah, right. It was toasty in here last night. Let me tell you, van life is so much better with a heater. Up until last night, we didn't have any power hookups, so we weren't able to have any sort of heater or anything and it snowed one night. It's been pretty chilly so having a little heater and an electricity to plug that heater in is pretty nice. But let's get on our way shall we? So we're on our way to West Yellowstone for the night and we are trying to get some footage of this van for Traveler's Auto Barn. And we tried suction cupping our GoPro to the side of it and driving around, but the GoPro fell off. So Kevin is <laughs> currently going to try to find it. Luckily we saw it fall off. Uh, so hopefully that can be recovered because there's some good footage on there and also our GoPro. <laughs> We've just hit our third or fourth wildlife jam of the day. On another note, Kelly has been playing license plate bingo since we have gotten to Yellowstone and she's almost to 50 states. I think she's got two more to go. Plus bonus, I got District of Columbia. All right, kids, driving in binoculars is not recommended. Oh my God, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> All right, we figured it out. Everyone is slowing down for the history exhibit. Boy. I think we found it. We got a buck. Wow, it's pretty majestic. to our campground for the night. 
We are in the West Yellowstone KOA. I've never stayed in the KOA before. It's pretty well organized if you ask me. We have all the hookups for tonight, which is awesome because we have our little heater. We have a campfire ring. I guess you can't really call this a ring. Campfire square. <laughs> Another cool part about this campground is showers are included. So I'm really looking forward to taking a shower. I'm really looking forward to him taking a shower as well. Six or seven days we've been on the road and I've taken one shower so far. I've taken two showers, just so everyone knows that. <laughs> but it's probably time for a third. Now tonight is going to look a lot like last night. We're gonna have a campfire, make some dinner, eat some s'mores. So that was all in our last video. We're not gonna bore you with that tonight. So if you didn't see that, go check out our last video. It was a banger. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you've made it all this way, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button, right? We really could use the support and we very, very much appreciate it. And if you haven't checked out the rest of our Wyoming videos, they are pretty awesome. We've seen and done some amazing things so far and we still have several days left in the trip. So you're gonna wanna hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching guys. This is Kevin and the Awkward Tourist. We're almost to Montana. Hold, please. We're going this way. We just ran into each other. Ah. Another cool part about this, another cool part about this campground is, another cool part about this campground 